thanks. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Thanks. What would you like to do? Hope to see you soon! Because of you, I got to open the store of my dream. Please drop by when you... Thanks! Hey, is it just my imagine? Oh yeah! I found something cool, so I'll share it with you. Bring me any rare items you find. I'll make it worth your while. You okay? You've been staring at the furniture for a while now. I was thinking. I've never seen colors like this in Xion's shop. I can't always find colors that really speak to me there. So I ask my painter friend to mix up some colors for me. Oh, that's pretty neat. Could your friend make me a cool color too? I don't know. I've already put in my own order. But once she's finished with that, then maybe. All right, I'll try asking anyway. She's always collecting dyes in Aqua Camp. Thanks, I'll check it out. What would you like to do? <laughs> Hope to see you soon! I've done it! I finished the hoverbot! All right! Forest land, here we come! What do we do about the aquanium? Should we stash it somewhere again? No. We better keep it with us. They said they've got an aquanium radar back in forest land. If that's true, trying to hide the aquanium's gonna be pointless. So that's how they always seem to know exactly where to find it. Wait, if that's true, it means that taking the Aquanium with us will expose our own location. Would you mind showing me that Aquanium for a second, please? Sure. Uh -huh. Their radar is probably just a receiver, one attuned specifically to the wavelength of Aquanium. Versus sending out radio pulses that bounce off the Aquanium and back to them. Exactly! Which means all we have to do is... There! This should block the Aquanium emissions. I see, I see. You mean you understand how it works? Of course not! But whatever they just did means that Radar can't find it now, right? Right! Well, that takes care of my concerns. Time to go. Yeah! Just you wait, Forest Land Army! Why exactly did they need Anne to show them the way, if they have radar? Probably because they can't call back home while they're in Sandland.
Subterranean Lake Ruins has got to be awfully dark and damp, right? Just what we demons like. You ever been to Forest Land, old man? No, never. We weren't even allowed to go anywhere remotely near the border. Zayu wanted to keep us away from it for some reason. Fritz, we're sinking into the water. This won't work. <laughs> Make sure to check your gear every now and then. You never know when something you've picked up might come in handy. Got it. I'll give him a look. Always remain calm, no matter the situation. Clear thinking will lead you to victory, even when the odds are against you. You're talking to the Fiend Prince. I'm like, the definition of calm. Fighting in cramped areas like cliffs, beware of blind spots. Getting caught off guard puts you at a disadvantage. I definitely hate to lose like that. I'll be careful. What goes through your head in the middle of a fight? How I'm gonna beat the other guy to a pulp? That's a start, but you might get better results by predicting what your enemy is going to do and reacting accordingly. You'll find it hard to lose if you're always fighting on favorable terms.
They just left the dam broken like that? Hopefully it will serve as a reminder to never make the same mistake again. That doesn't mean another human won't come and try to plug it up once more someday. If they do, I'll let them have it. Just like last time. Whoop. Here we go. Whoop. Here we go. Whoop. Here we go. Whoop. Like we're not the only travelers out here. We should think about stopping by that campsite they're using ourselves. It's a communal camp that's open to all travelers. Talk about convenient! these inaccessible spots real quick. Let's try to remember this spot. to take the time to stop and observe your surroundings every now and then. You just might make some exciting discoveries. And if we could find some loot as a result, even better. Make sure to check your gear every now and then. You never know when something you've picked up might come in handy. Got it. I'll give him a look. Always remain calm, no matter the situation. Clear thinking will lead you to victory, even when the odds are against you. You're talking to the Fiend Prince. I'm like, the definition of calm. When fighting in cramped areas like cliffs, beware of blind spots. 
Getting caught off guard puts you at a disadvantage. I definitely hate to lose like that. I'll be careful. Make sure to check your gear every now and then. You never know when something you've picked up might come in handy. Got it. I'll give him a look. Whoever think you might be lost, you should check the map. Yeah, getting lost and having a backtrack would be a pain. Maybe it's just a matter of seeing so much water here, but this place seems almost holy to me. Blech, you're making me want to barf. Uh, my head hurts. Mine too. on the other side, but we've got no way to reach it like this. If only we could raise the water level.
the water. This won't work.
Looks like the passage continues, but the water's too high to keep going. It looks awfully deep. Let's use the hovercraft.
Here we go. This seems to be an altar. Hey, check this out. There's something here. Something round. Not another urn, is it? 
Ugh, it's used! A dead end. Nothing to do but turn around, I guess. There's water running down that hole. I think it's a very funny, Prince. That's just a drainage channel. But it'll be a really fun ride, right? Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> I thought I was a goner. What's wrong? I'm worried about what's been making all that racket. Let's call it out and see what it is. Don't 
Don't let up, Prince! Prince, watch out for attacks from the water! Where the heck am I? I don't recognize this smell. Ugh. This air is way too pure for my taste. I feel sick. Where's Thief and the old man? Got lost. Looks like it's yells to the rescue.
Come on out. It's useless to hide from a fiend. A fiend? A, a real demon? Well, well. Just look at all of you crawling out of the woodwork. You really are a demon. What are demons doing in forest land? Huh? We're in forest land? Wow, this is awesome! I've never seen a demon before! You think this is a safari? Surround them! We can't just stand by and let these filthy demons invade our home! Oh boy, not this again. Don't tell me you guys are part of the Forest Land Army too. Nah, it doesn't matter. If it's a fight you want, I'll give you one. Watch out! Yeah. <laughs> Parodying that epi guy? Typical Forest Land Army goon. No! He touched me! It's all over! This. this is the end for me! Quit your whining! We have to protect our country! We can't let these despicable monsters corrupt our home! Say that again, you. White! Prince! Old man! Fee! Looks like you ran a little wild. Ha! <laughs> That'll teach him to mess with the Fiend Prince! I say they could do with more punishment. <laughs> Please, I beg you, forgive them. And who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Longo, their commander. He helped me end Thief when we washed ashore. We owe him. Huh. My apologies for my youthful comrade's rudeness, Prince Beelzebub. Longo, how can you bow your head to a demon? That's enough, Udo. Your disrespect toward our guests beggars belief. Yes? You mean these demons? You're not thinking of recruiting them to the resistance. The re resistance? Come. Let us discuss this further on the way. My sincere apologies, Mr. Beelzebub. Many in Forest Land fear demons, I'm afraid. Don't worry about it. That's nothing new. Resistor buddies, right? Those Forest Land Army creeps kidnapped her. Yes, Mr. Rao and Mr. Thief told me as much. Our scouts are monitoring Rosetta's tank brigade to try to determine the princess's location. Once they discover where she was taken, we will devote all our forces to the task of freeing her. Hey, 
Here we go. The topography here has some pretty intense verticality. Watch your step, or you're gonna end up tumbling down. Come on. I'm not that clumsy. By the way, who are you exactly? You seem to be very well informed. I'm someone who failed to protect his kind and just king in his time of need. The most I managed to do for him was flee with his young, innocent daughter. Just a feeble old man, really. I've been wondering. Coups don't happen out of the blue. Pulling one off requires careful planning. Were there no signs? No. What exactly was Bread hoping to achieve through his coup d'etat? Anne thought he just wanted to seize more territory for Forest Land, but is that really...? Yeah, that's something the four of us would like to know more about too! The Swimmers? What are you doing here? What was that about how you'd never join forces with us? Or that line about how we'd never meet again, hmm? You pipe down! Are you gonna turn down a request from an old comrade? Huh? So this old man was in your band of thieves? No! I was in the rebel army! You mean to tell me you're that long ago? <laughs> That's correct, General Shiva. <laughs> I know how formidable an enemy you make. I'm glad to have you as an ally instead. The, the reason he was so strong is because he had our swimmers on his side. Papa, your face is all red. You keep quiet, Sonny. Now, tell us what Bread's up to. His goal is to gather up the last five extant Aquanium capsules in the world. And use them to restart Garum, the Flying Fortress. The Flying Fortress? The former peachy mothership, which landed in Flatland so many years ago. After being modified for battle, it's said to have been the world's most powerful warship. It's unclear how much of this is true, but rumor has it that it took only three days for its terrible weapons to send Flatland, the world's wealthiest, most advanced nation, to the bottom of the ocean. So, it's better than even Zeyu's fortress? Without a doubt. If its capabilities require five times the Aquanium to power... W what will they do if they ever manage to get it working again? Well, Bread will have the power to bring the world to its knees. To hell with that! After breaking free of one oppressor, I'm not bending to another! I share that sentiment, which is why we... Longo! Excuse me, it seems I have urgent business to attend. I will probably be occupied for some time, so why not rest up in the meantime? We'll take you up on that. We're awful tired from swimming here. Let's make the rounds of the camp. We should take the chance to gather whatever intelligence we can. All right. 